Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Survival from Python Zone. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. Those of you eagle-eyed viewers may have just noticed that the minecart storage thingy came back down. So since the last episode, yes, I dug up the diamonds. There was in fact eight of them and I sent it up to the top. So that should all be uh, within a chest now, which is kind of awesome. So we're going to be doing two things in today's episode. Both of them involve diamonds that is right my friend so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to give this thing a bit of a go what i'm going to do is i'm probably going to strip mine for maybe about half an hour we'll do some of it on camera with you guys if we find something cool but uh, ultimately we want to see how many ores we can get in a certain time span so we're going we're to go for half an hour but like i say not doing it all on camera the other thing i want to do bit of a stretch I actually want to go ahead and explore another map. Again, we're going to be cutting uh, a whole bunch of it out. So, yeah, we're hopefully going to cram this episode full of goodies, full of diamonds, and full of epic stuff. So, guys, if you're excited for today's episode, then please, as always, do be sure to drop a like rating. 2,000 likes would be the goal. So, without further ado, I am looking at my OBS timer. It is coming up to one and a half minutes. So, three, two, one. Let's make a bit of a start, shall we, my friends? All we're going to do is strip my in all of the various areas we can do so. So I think what I'm going to do is not strip mine up at level 13. Instead, I'm going to go sort of down to level 9, 7, and 5. And I'm hoping to be able to find myself a whole bunch of diamonds that way. Okay, so that one was a little bit of a dud. So here we go. We're at level 9 now. So we need to be careful, of course, of lava. Because if we come across lava, which I can hear, by the way. Oh, gosh. I hear lava. Ugh. It's always a bit of a nasty sound when you hear lava nearby, especially when you're below lava level. Hmm, I don't know, man. Alrighty, guys, well, it appears... Oh, jeez! Hello, dead. And dead. Think you can take me down like that, my good sir? It ain't gonna happen. But guys, check it out. We come across a proper ravine. I guess that's pretty cool. If we want to maybe grab some ores and stuff. Mate, okay. This is kind of epic. Uh, okay, it appears to be a double ravine as well. Oh, jeez. Okay, do you know what? Do you know what? I'm going to say a big fat no to that one. I think I want to go back to my mine. No, no, no. I don't want to deal with mobs today. I'm not going to lie. I just don't want to deal with them. <laughs> How about a big fat no? Oh, and there you go. Always mine up ores. You never know what might be connected to it. Oh, God, it's an eight vein as well. Ha-ha! <laughs> Huh? That's pretty beautiful, isn't it, guys? Holy guacamole. Goodbye. 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 <laughs> what? All of a sudden, mob mania. Well, I did come back to say that uh, I'm at pretty much the halfway stage now. Uh, so, yeah, we're looking pretty good in terms of all so far. Still got a whole bunch of, uh, you know, alls right here, which is very, very nice. Ooh. Hello. Right, could I, like, block that off at all? Yep, there we go. Obviously, mining under lava level is a very dangerous thing indeed. So, yeah, it's just something we need to bear in mind, isn't it, as we go along. Alrighty, guys, we're actually coming up to the end of the half an hour session. You guys would just have to take my word for it. Obviously, you know, the video hasn't been half an hour long. But honestly, guys, I'm a little bit disappointed. Like, I've still only got eight diamond ore. Like, I don't know what's going on around here. Is there, like, a bit of a diamond dead spot around here? Like, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Like, there just seems to be a bit of a diamond dead spot. There's just none around here. We've got plenty of other ores. You know, we've got gold, coal, redstone, iron, all of that stuff. We haven't found any lapis, strangely enough. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know, I just find it very, very strange that we haven't found more diamonds than we have. I mean, it's, it's not often that I'm that unlucky when it comes to mining, but hey-ho. Aha! There we go, the unloading is now done, which means we should have all of our ores in here. And this looks like a pretty decent session, actually, for half an hour... I don't think that's a bad amount of ores. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we got the 16 diamond ore. Technically, eight of that was from outside the session. Uh, but yeah, the rest of it is all legit. So, yeah. That's kind of epic. You know what? We're going to go ahead and put all of that in the ores chest. Look at that. Yeah. I'd love to have a full double chest just full of ores, guys. Like, I don't think I've ever done that before. I think it would genuinely be kind of awesome to do that. Anyways, three shulker boxes. We are going to explore 
a new area of the world. It should be a fantastic time, my friends. So, yeah, we've got a nice empty inventory right here. Uh, I'm hoping we've got ourselves a whole bunch of fireworks. Uh, yeah, we do. Okay. Coolio, coolio. So, I kind of realized shortly after recording the last major exploration episode, why don't I just use the nether to generate a new portal in the overworld at the exact place it needs to be? All I need to do is divide the coordinates by eight, right? And then we've got the place we need. So, yeah. Not exactly like I've got a shortage of obsidian, huh? <laughs> Alright guys, let's bring up the random number generator and let's see which map we're filling up today. Alrighty guys, so we got ourselves an empty map. We're ready to zoom it out four times upon getting to the new location. So, random number generator is up. So in three, two, one, boom! There we go, my... F wow, okay, that... <laughs> That was really good timing there, mystical, mysterious, scary music. Map number 92. Now, considering this is 15 wide, uh, we have 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90. So it's on this row, uh, 91, 92. So this map here is the one we're exploring in today's episode. Oh, this is what I get for a welcome present, huh? A freaking army of ghasts. Get out of here. Get out of it. Double kill. Go on. Oh my gosh, I'm the best. All right, here we go. And boom. Triple kill. Triple kill. Yeah. All right. Don't mind if I do. Aha. Right. That should do the job. Let's light this sucker up. And hopefully, it takes me to the correct place in the overworld. So, what was it? Negative 19,000, negative 7,000. Around that. Please spawn me at the overworld and not in a cave. I hate it when it spawns me in a cave. Although, I don't know. It kind of gives you a little bit of mystery, I guess. Could be considered a cool thing, right? I don't know, man. All I know is that I want to go ahead and see what's going on here when the world freaking loads. Oh, gosh. Oh. Wait, what's, what biome is this? A forest? Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, geez. This is epic. Hey, look at that, guys. Nice and easy. Look at that. Almost bang on as well. Beautiful. There's a nice little forest and a tiger biome. Okay, I can get behind this. Okay, guys, so what we need to do now is start generating the map, of course. So let's grab ourselves out the cartography table. Let's generate the map itself. There we go, looking good. And as we zoom it out, it should centralize itself, I hope. Yep, that's sort of centralizing, right? Come on, another one. Yep, and one final one. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. So, all we need to do now is chuck the stuff away in the chests. And, ladies and gents, we're just about ready. Right, do we have any space in here? Yeah, we do. Okay, I'm going to put that in there. Epic. All right, ladies and gents, we are ready to freaking do some stuff. Oh, yeah. I'm ready, guys. I'm so ready. So, here we go. What should we do? Should we do what we did before? Just start with the edges and go from there? I feel like that's a good idea. So, I mean, this would be the closest edge. We do have ourselves a tiger biome over here. You never know what we might find. There may be a village. There may be foxes. Both of which are pretty awesome. Alright. Should we go around in a clockwise direction? Uh, clockwise means going south. Yes. Okay. Cool. Right, are we going to find epic stuffs? Now, once again, similar to before, what we're going to do is if there are any beached shipwrecks, then yes, we will go ahead and do them. If they're underwater, then I don't really want to make the effort to go down there. Uh, but, I mean, I mean, yeah, you could... I don't know. It's good for the treasure, but I'd prefer exploring things that are easy to explore rather than going underwater. I know, that, that sounds extremely lazy of me, but that's just how it is sometimes. It is... It's just how it is. All right, so that's the southeast. All right, let's go around the bottom. We're going around the south of this thing. Oh, that's a nice little uh, floating island kind of deal. Ooh. Aha! All right, we've got ourselves a... That's a pretty large village, actually. Wow. Okay, right. Oh, hello there, little micro kitty cat. I'm going to loot this village and steal everything they own. That's what I'm going to do. I appreciate you there, broski. Do you know what? Most people wouldn't do this, but I'm going to take the carpet. It's going to save me a whole bunch of resources down the line, isn't it? Huh? I mean, if it's here, I'm going to nab it. I mean, trapdoors, they're a pretty good decorative thing to have. Hay bales, you bet your sweet butts I'm going to take that. Hell yeah, give me that. <laughs> Alright guys, finally got our first point of interest here, huh? Alright, come on. It's got to be something cool. Oh, wow. 
Whoa. Whoa, there's a lot of hay bales and cows. Okay, this is kind of epic. Ah, oh, look at the cute little nitwit. I'm just going to quietly rob you while you're asleep. I mean, yeah. Yeah, you, you saw nothing, okay? <laughs> what a dumbo. Okay, what else have we got? Nothing. What's in this one? Let me guess. Nothing. Let me guess. Nothing. Yep, okay. Well, that's a thing. Ah, uh, these guys are so poor. I want some freaking emeralds, bro. Hello there, sir. What have we got? More flowers. Okay. I mean, there really isn't that much that's interesting in this village, huh? Uh-huh. Right. Well, to be honest with you, I think that's just about it for this one. Most of these guys are now unemployed, so lol. Sucks to be you. I robbed you of all of your freaking crafting stations. <laughs> Oh, I'm a mean person, aren't I, guys? Oh, gosh. <sighs> Can't wait to be flamed in the comments area. Unemployment rises. Pythonator. <laughs> I nabbed all of your stuff. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, yeah. Let's carry on, huh? <laughs> Whoa, hey! Whoa, there's like... What the heck is going on with my elytra? Hello! Wow, there's a lot of pumpkins here. Look at this. What? They spawn in armor stands? What? I didn't know that. Look at that. We got a free iron helmet and iron chest plate. Yo. Okay, I'm taking these for sure, dude. I'm taking all of... Okay. I mean, that was inside a pumpkin, but do you know what? There's worse things in the world, huh? Is this silk touch? Okay. Will I get the campfire? Oh, I will. You actually get the campfire back. Okay, that's epic. Give to me all the composters. They all now belong to me. Oh, yes, they do. Right. Uh, what else have we got? We've got, like, berry bushes. Oh, wow. There's, like, two grindstones. Oh, my gosh. Yo. This village is, like, the MVP so far. Don't mind if I do. What do you got in here there, little broski? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, yep. I'll just uh, rob that from you. Sorry there, brother. Uh, ooh. You know what? I'm nabbing this. And you know what? Because it's me, I'm nabbing your flower pot as well. Sorry, not sorry. Do you have anything upstairs? Is it worth looking? No, not really. All right. Mate, I love the tiger villages. I feel like they've got a lot more character to them than the other kinds of villages in the world. I mean, look at this. That's, that's pretty cool. A nice little campfire thing. Hello. Right, what do you got? Ooh, lots and lots and lots of stuff. Oh, gosh. Right, flowers, go away. I wish to pick all of this stuff up. Thank you. Appreciate you. Uh, oh, jeez. Can you stop doing that, please? You gave me a freaking heart attack, bro. Dang. These guys have got a lot, huh? You got, like, campfires and such. You got a nice little pen here with absolutely nothing inside it. Uh, so that's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, is there anything in these houses? Oh, yes, there is. Ooh, I'm glad I didn't miss those out. We got ourselves some free emeralds. Don't mind if I do, dear sir. Don't mind if I do. All right, what else have we got? Uh, I'm pretty sure I've already explored that. There's not much going on down there. That's just a bit of a cave entrance. Uh, and then we've got this thing over here. Aha! Uh -huh. What do you got? Flower pot and a grindstone. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stone cutter. Yeah. Uh, I got that in the finish. Woohoo! Yay! Epic stuff! Oh, would you look at that? A little bit of a flower forest. I mean, it is slightly off the map. And it's probably the smallest flower forest biome I've ever seen in history. But it's still pretty cool. I mean, as you guys may or may not know, flower forests are my favorite biome in Minecraft. So that's awesome. All right. Well, anyways, let's get back to it, huh? We've got some more filling of the map to do. Maybe, I don't know, if we don't want to feel like... You know, going home empty-handed. Maybe, just maybe, we'll go for some underwater chests. I don't know. I feel like the continuity would be broken then if I do that, though. I don't know. I just don't know. All right, guys. Let's continue on. Wow. I won't lie. This is a pretty epic overhang. And also very dangerous. Look at how many mobs there are. Wow. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wow. I mean, that's, that is just screaming to be built in, huh? Good freaking lord. All right. Well, the sun's going down. We're just flying casually over multiple biomes here. Uh, but to be honest, there's not really been anything too interesting aside from the villages. I mean, the tiger villages are probably the best ones in Minecraft. In my humble opinion, anyway. I don't know. I don't know, man. Anyway, let's keep on, huh? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hello there. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is epic. 
We've got an abandoned ruin at the surface. It's like a fully formed structure as well. Dude, that is actually kind of amazing. That's definitely part of a screenshot for the episode thumbnail. Look at this. Wow. Usually this is entirely submerged underwater. But, well, as you can see, it just isn't. So maybe we could have just a little bit of a nosy. Maybe, just maybe, there'll be a chest under this. Come on. Come on. Let me have this. Let me have a chest. There we go. I knew there'd be one somewhere. Ah, well, that's a sad state of affairs. There's no treasure map in this one, sadly, ladies and gents. Ah, oh, well. Uh, I mean... We could take the magma blocks if we really wanted. Hello, you two. How you doing? <laughs> oh, aren't you cute, huh? <laughs> oh, mate. This is kind of awesome. All right, so boom, 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 boom. Uh, don't really need the sand. Uh, so let's get those. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That placed in there. And we're just about ready. Okay. Awesome. Oh, oh geez. Nope. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Panic over. Yeah, I wasn't scared. <laughs> Aha! Okay, so we got ourselves another village. We've actually very almost explored all of this thing, uh, which is obviously pretty cool. So we're coming to the end of the episode, I guess. Uh, so I would appreciate being able to sleep. Come on. Come on. Let me sort refuge in this village. It'll be kind of nice. Anytime now. Anytime that there we go. Aha! I got there eventually, didn't we, guys? <laughs> okay, so another little tiger village. I did see the smoke particles from a fair way away, actually, which is uh, kind of awesome. I do like the the smoke signals and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, awesome stuff. Hello there, good sir. What are you? You have no profession. You are an unemployed bum. Cool. Okay, right. So what have we got around here? Nothing! Yay! Okay, what about over here? Let me guess, nothing? Nope, we do have a chest and some berries. Okay, epic, epic, epic. Okay, so I think the theme of this entire map, I think we're going to do cyan shulker boxes and just put tiger on it because that's been that's mostly been the feature around here, hasn't it? Just tiger villages. We came across one regular village, but the tiger villages... Let's be honest, are far better. They just are, okay? They just are. I know, I know, some of you guys might not agree with that, but I think, I think, I think that's kind of, I think it's all right, you know, each to their own, all that kind of stuff. But I'm just saying, I think Tiger Village is the best ones. All right, so, what have we got in here? There's got to be a chest, oh my goodness, but you could literally make a portal out of that alone. Wow, that would be an amazing start to a Let's Play. <laughs> If you started here, this would be an amazing start to a Let's Play. Go to the Nether on your very first episode. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but that's pretty thats pretty bonkers, isn't it? That really, really is. Hello, more emeralds. Oh, we've got some ferns in that. Hey, I do love me some ferns. Another grindstone. We've got four grindstones, guys. Wow, that's really awesome. All right, well, yeah, most of these guys appear to be unemployed. So I think I've done my job correctly. All is looking good. Where's the bell? It's in here, isn't it? Aha! Yes! The bells will be good for signifying how many villages exist in each of the maps, right? So, what have we got in here? Oh, there's a chest. I'm so glad I didn't miss out on that one. Okay. Aha! Uh -huh. What have we got down here, huh? There's like another little house down there. Did we explore this one? I don't know. Mm, yes, we did, I think. And then this one, yep, that's basically nothing there. I don't think there's any campfires left. Not unless there's some down here. Oh, wow. Okay, the village, like, properly keeps going down here. Yeah, look at that. There's always some over there as well. Wow, okay. You guys have got your stuff cut out for you, huh? All right, well, sorry, buddy. I'm going to rob you. <laughs> you can tend to the pumpkins, but you can't put them anywhere. <laughs> What you gonna do, sunshine? I don't think there's anything you can do. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, actually, I'm really not, but I am as well. Okay, so let's go and grab some of this. There we go. And what have you got for me down here? We've already explored this. We just forgot to get the campfire. Okay, cool. You'd love to see it. What? Uh-huh. Yeah, I know, right? I, I'm the best at Minecraft. I am. I've got all of this epic stuff. All of this amazing stuff, huh? It's pretty cool, isn't it? What else could be stacked together? Not a whole lot by the looks of it. All right, final shulker box, in which case uh, all of this could go in there. 
And yeah, that's just about it. I'm glad that I bring three shulker boxes for these journeys. I think that's just the right amount, if I'm being entirely honest. Uh, so yeah, that is awesome. Uh, I guess, I mean... I mean, the, the chances are small. We may find another village, maybe in the plains nearby. Although, then again, maybe not. I don't really feel like we'll find anything else. So, let's go ahead and get this map filled up. Okay. Oh, God. We're lagging around, guys. Oh, jeez. Yeah. I mean, if we do find any more villagers, they'll be on the left, right? Either ahead or left. Uh-huh. Okay, I mean, like I say, chances are low, but it's not impossible. Alrighty, guys, so here we are at the end of the episode. So, as always, we have the comment question of the video right here. Picture124 asks, why do you take your armor off when you go invisible? They can't see you with armor on. Well, that is both right and wrong, believe it or not. <laughs> So, uh, one of the things I've been uh, working on quite a lot, obviously, is, you know, digging out Ocean Monuments, getting the double guardian farms up and running. But, with the second guardian farm, I discovered something kind of interesting. Yes, if you have a full set of armor on you and you're invisible, the guardians can still see you, except at a smaller distance, right? So, they have to be closer to you to notice you. However... If you have only one piece of armor on, in my case, it was an Aqua Affinity helmet, the Guardians can't see you, which is very, very interesting. And obviously, if you have no armor on at all, they just flat out can't see you and they won't do anything. But one piece of armor on, apparently, they still can't see you, which is kind of amazing. I was very, very happy to discover that. I genuinely was because it meant that digging out the second ocean monument was incredibly easy and we had instant mine, which was kind of fantastic. It really, really was. But anyways, my friends, what we're going to do is wrap up today's episode. Another map filled in. We've tried out our diamond mine to mostly no avail. We got a couple diamonds out of it, but I think we hit a bit of a dead spot there. So, yeah. I don't know, man. Anyways, if you have enjoyed today's episode, please do be sure to drop a like rating, hit the subscribe button, and ding that bell if you guys don't want to miss out on future content. But for now, my friends, I shall bid you farewell. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.